All right, what you see here is Blade 230S back. Yes, worst heli I've ever owned. But I like it. And you will know that I have had the... Uh-oh. Tail's a little nutty. What mode is this thing? We got a new SC, yeah. ESC from Horizon for under warranty, but I, this thing's in like stability mode. And all sorts of weird stuff. There we go. Let's make sure it can still fly. So as you know, I had the power issue with this one. So I wasn't gonna do anything, that was December and I just gave up on the heli. I said the hell with it. It was just getting cold and not fun anymore, screwing around with this thing. Looking in swamps. And Um, I said the hell with you. Oh, <laughs> little weirdness is hell. I think that's why I like it. It's so quirky and shitty. Um, so I was gonna buy an ESC for it, and uh. So why should I buy the ESC? This is my warranty one, it should work. The flight's nice, except for the craziness with the uh, power cut out. So I'm like, yeah. Well, with an email, two days later, like, hey, we'll send you a motor and an ESC, sounds like a power issue. So not only do they FedEx a motor or an ESC in two days, I got a motor coming Friday. I don't think it's the motor, I think it's the ESC. Uh, I changed the ESC, as you can see. It hasn't crashed yet. Uh, why do I like this heli if I have 700 nitros? Oh, I don't know, you can just like, it's just like pick up and go, one tiny little battery. Crash as well as we've learned from I haven't crashed it on my own. It's always been a... Uh, it's always been its own fault. I cannot do a... TikToker to save my life. Um, now, you know I've had the OMP and the uh, OMP M1 and 2. I sold those. They were good practice helis, but I honestly did not like, I like the way this feels better, even though it has a horrible tail. The cyclic on the OMP helis, and this goes for the OMP4, which I own, it's absolutely atrocious. There's better control, yes, like this is sloppy, but there's a, there's a weird, gentle, fun feel to this helicopter, and I don't know how to explain it. It's strange. Uh, visibility on the OMP and OM1 suck. 
This thing I can see really well. It could be just a very bright orange, the bright tail. It's got a big tail fin. Nice big canopy. It looks bigger. It's got big orange blades. Huge wide cord. And uh, I don't know. It's a hundred bucks too, which isn't cheap. But I mean, that's what are you gonna do? This flies longer than the OMP M2 on the same battery. I don't know, the OMP M2 just felt like a, uh, a freaking uh, sport machine, man, like a 3D basher. And I just don't fly through this old man flying style is more my thing. You can see it's, it's not the best heli. It's just a heli. My fondness could be... This is the heli I learned on. This is the biggest heli I ever spooled up and successfully had a flight on at the time. Uh, I remember I was at Fraser Flying Club Field. And uh, that was just the coolest thing. And I went on to learn on this thing. Maybe I didn't learn so well. I don't know. But it is what it is. There are many Hallies. God, the tail. Uh, no Hallie's perfect. No Hallie is for everybody. Don't listen to what everybody says just because everyone's talking about the OMP this, OMP that, flying on rails, or this goblin and that goblin. I've owned them all. And that's it. Seems like she's deficient power right now. I'll probably try to do a trim flight because actually it's not bad. Um, there we go. No bullshit easy flight. No power cut. No nothing. So the last one had the motor issue and other weird issues and battery power issues. It gave me a new one. This one had flew great for 230s. Um, it had power issues. Seems to be the ESC of. I can't count just one flight. Although I couldn't get away with even one flight before. So, hey, it works, it works. That was fun. That's all it's supposed to be is fun. That, that's it. That's all you can ask for. I mean, that's it. There's nothing else to it.